Hello folks, Google seems to have delayed the release of the Sable Android 14 update. After a couple of developer preview releases and five public beta updates of Android 14, it looked like we might get to see the Sable Android 14 release, but it has been postponed, which means smartphone brands have to delay the release as well. Nevertheless, the company has announced some new features that will eventually come to all relatively modern Android smartphones. The company has updated its famous at a glance widget, the Google Wallet app, and a few other features. Starting with the at a glance widget, the Google search widget will display relevant information including weather alerts, travel updates, travel times and suggestions, and event reminders. The Google Wallet app will soon let you import boarding passes and QR codes from screenshots and PDFs, letting you easy access while traveling on a flight or entering your gym. Google is also bringing easy access to office meetings while traveling. You can soon browse through meetings or join them on WebEx and Zoom when your phone is connected to an Android Auto compatible infotainment unit. While attending meetings, you can mute the microphone when needed and end the call. In Google Assistant routines, you can soon integrate sleep data from Fitbit or Google Feed, so you can listen to your sleep metrics when you wake up. People with low vision can use the upcoming image Q&A on Lookout feature to make visual content more accessible. This feature uses AI to offer a more detailed description of an image. People can even ask follow-up questions via typing a voice about those images. It currently supports 11 languages but that number will reach 34 soon. Although Samsung didn't bring a new pair of wireless earbuds at its late July unpacked event in Korea, the company is undoubtedly developing its next-gen Galaxy Buds for a later, unknown release. Lo and behold, a live photo of said wireless earbuds has now surfaced through the website of the radio research agency in Korea. This is the first live photo of the next-gen Samsung wireless earbuds. The earbuds carry model number SMR400N, but their official name has yet to be confirmed. They may or may not be called Galaxy Buds 3, but for convenience, we may continue calling them that for the time being, until more details emerge. Judging by the photo, Samsung's next earbuds won't have as round a design as newer models. They resemble the old Icon X and the 2020 Galaxy Buds Plus more than the recent Buds 2 and Buds 2 Pro. Could Samsung end up calling them Galaxy Buds 2 Plus instead of Galaxy Buds 3? Time will tell. The photo suggests that these new earbuds have a matte finish rather than a glossy one. Furthermore, the lower half of the earbud almost looks like it has a rubbery coating. There's also a wingtip, which may offer a snug fit. Again, these characteristics, save for the matte paint, are found on the Galaxy Buds Plus released in 2020. But that about wraps it up. There's no photo of charging case to speak of, and there's no word on how long these new earbuds will last on a single charge or what features they might have. And you know, in the internet, I mostly saw a negative reaction since everyone is waiting for the update of the latest headphones of the company, the Pro series. But now, it seems we are getting outdated and not so beautiful design. However, I don't think it's worth putting ashes on your head. The Buds Pro will not go anywhere and will be updated in the future. But this is just a different form factor, a different lineup. And personally, I would love to buy these headphones for myself, because the Galaxy Buds Plus fit in my ears better than all subsequent buds. And if battery life, sound quality and a nice price tag are pumped, then I will gladly give the good old buds a try. Wait and see. Guys, share your opinions in the comment section below. Also, share this video with your friends. See you in the next one. Good luck to all.